Alright guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are back with some more Kamen Rider O's. We are looking at episode 17 today. Last episode, or the last batch of episodes, were pretty hyped. Uh, it definitely felt big. You had Kazuri, like, you know, just like get coming out of the shadows and attacking his fellow Greed members. And we're basically seeing him and Dr. Maki start to make their plans flourish. Like you see uh, Kazuri testing on Gamel and Mizul, seeing both of them fuse and getting a really, really cool monster out of it. It, it, like like I said, it definitely felt like a very big episode. And to top it all off, we finally got to see the official reveal of Common Rider Birth. And when I say that that twist ending surprised me, it surprised me. Because when I thought, when we saw uh, Common Rider Birth, I thought when he uh, de-transformed, we were going to see Goto. Instead, we see this completely new character who we've never seen before. At least I don't remember seeing I don't know who this person is I don't know what's coming up next but nonetheless I'm really really excited like I said the last two parter was really really good really enjoyed it uh, and I'm excited to see oh on top of that we also got a little bit more development on uh, edgy and um, Unk's relationship like I said that's a very unstable relationship of course Unk is going one way and edgy is going a completely different way how I mean like it was really cool seeing edgy just going like I've had enough and just like want to fight Unk like I, like he's just like you know what? I'm tired of your nonsense bah! like I, I really like that I, I, I'm i glad and I'm Unk you know he kind of knocked some sense into Unk and I'm happy about that um I I, I I like I said I really like the relationship I'm excited to see where it goes from there and the whole two-parter was just really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. So I think it's time that we found out who this Kamen Rider Birth is. And we found out who this guy is. And it's time to find out what he's doing with Goto's belt. Because I thought that that Kamen Rider suit was going to belong to Goto. We even saw Goto wearing it in the special. So who is this guy? What does he want? Where is this going? I'm really, really... And obviously, how is he connected with uh, two... Um, Dr. Maki, because Dr. Maki is the one that supposedly gave him the belt. So I don't want to waste any more time. Before we get started, though, just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys end up enjoying this video, then you can like the video, comment, subscribe. All those things really help me out. And subscribe and let you guys know when I upload next. Let's not waste any more time and get on with the actual episode. That Mega Mizu creature was really sick. I mean, like, really cool design. Who are you? <laughs> Maybe that was a little too smug sounding. Oh? What? Uncle? Ooh, okay. Yes. Date? Akira. What? What do you mean? Uh, <laughs> he's definitely uh, new to everything, isn't he? <laughs> It kind of reminds me of uh, Shotaru trying to act cool. All right, there he goes. Oh, that's it. That was a huge monster. You could give a little bit more. Doesn't make it any better. That was a lot of medals. Wait, take the medals. Date. He seems nice enough. Like, he doesn't seem evil. And he said he's from abroad, too. Hopefully, like, the most that we can hope for is that he's just a nice guy caught up in the wrong crowd, you know? Like, he doesn't know about Dr. Maki being kind of crazy and loving the end of the world and everything like that. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah 
友達にこういうの作るの得意な子がいるって Oh, is that for u n c l e He's still a jerk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time he's ever shown himself. In the canon, of course. Oh! <laughs> He's like, I'm 500 years old. Who cares about a new year? Right? He would have already done that. But、uh, yeah, that's a good point. He's not, he's not able to create yummies, but he's agreed he should be able to. Speak of the devil. He's still carrying around that jar of coins? What the? He's not gonna use that as like currency, is he? Oh. I don't really know that much about Kendo. I've just, I've just seen a little bit while watching Detective Conan. But it always looks pretty cool. Uh -oh. You can already see the desire on her face. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> This is the girl's bathroom. Don't you have any shame? Yeah, that must not be good with the whole property damage thing. You can't just snap your fingers and have it all go away. Nah, this is, this is perfect for him. Oh, there he is. A kendo yummy. A kendo insect yummy. God, he's so excited for yummies. He's like, yes! Danger. Damn. Careful, transform already. All right, I forgot. He has his medals. God damn it. I wonder why it's taking so long to like mature. What is it looking for? Because I know the insect ones, they need to absorb something first. Oh? Damn! I would have at least taken a wooden sword before charging at the thing. Oh? Oh, what is that? That looks good! He drops her. Yeah. I feel like people are starting. I mean, like, we saw the newspaper, but like, people are starting to understand what's going on, you know? I feel like by the end of the show, everybody's gonna be like, yeah, we all know what yummies are, and the whole thing with the desires, and, and the greed, and everything like that. I wonder if it's deeper than that. Like her desires. What are you doing following her? Trying to get more clues? I don't know how this guy operates, you know? Goto! <coughs> Poor guy. I thought he was getting his big break. It turns out he's still. He's still snubbed. Uh huh. Let's go. There might be another way. As you got a scarf, and you got. Is it the metal booklet? Whoa, we got spoiled a little bit. Oh, it's the metal booklet from the. from the special. 
Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So Hina's the one that gave that to him. That's pretty cool. What the heck? Oh, okay, he's evolving. Damn, okay, that actually looks pretty cool. I guess that's sort of the sword right there, his horn. Damn! He's going after all the, uh... He's going after all the kendo people from the, from the kendo dojo? What do we got? Oh, that's a different look. Green metal head, silver metal body. Oh no, green metal uh, feet, my mistake. Ooh. That's smart. Oh, oh. Hey, there's an actual fight going on. You can do more than just stalk girls in hospitals, right? Um... Right, Eji, be careful. It looks like he's about to like fire a beam. Is it evolving even more? You're changing your desire? Can you do that? Does, he, does she like... Does she like that... that guy? Maybe that's it? Are you making a new yummy? She doesn't know what she wants! So they are making more yummies! That's crazy! Huh? You wanna destroy everything? That can't be right! I thought it was gonna be a little bit more innocent than that! <laughs> Unk is like... Yo, two for the price of one. Damn. Damn. It's not looking good. Uh, be careful. <laughs> so he's just carrying a jar of metals. For what? What reason? Finally! Damn, he's taking his time though! Ooh. Finally! <laughs> Help! Jesus Christ, he's so slow! <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a cool transformation, though. I like it. Ah, it's so cool. Finally. There we go. Put some pep in your step. To transform, yeah. Oh, is that why he carries that jar? He does use cell metals, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Some Iron Man uh, vision here. Drill arm? Okay, no, that's new! Oh. <laughs> he might actually be able to defeat this thing oh, in this episode! Wait, he's like, it's like a magnet. It's, it's, it's collecting all the metals. Damn! But you're not leaving any for Unk. Oh. Oh. What? Damn, a little bit uh wild with that gun there, aren't you, sir? Right? Calm down. I don't know about using the the metals like that. Are those metals useful after he's done using them like that? He's just throwing them on the ground. Jesus 
Christ. Oh, here we go. Big music time. Alright, one's escape. Ah, oh, nice. Uh oh. Um. This is giving me Goto RPG vibes. Oh no, okay. Good. Nice. I mean, you grab them, they're yours. You better hurry, though. Damn. Damn. Hey, buddy, you gotta share. That was a team effort. Goto. I'm sorry, what? Excuse me, what? Don't say that with a smile. I don't think so, buddy. Date. What the heck? Does Dr. Maki need, what was it, 100 million uh, medals for? I forgot how much, I think it was 100 million medals. What the heck? I don't, and something tells me that is not for the Kogami Foundation. That is just for Dr. Maki. What is he doing in the background, huh? And he said that with a smile. I'm, no way. No way. We got to put a stop to that. That was a team effort. I mean, granted, he did a little bit more of the heavy lifting, but like you didn't give Unk any medals at all. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but an interesting yummy. I guess I never thought of what would happen if the victim of like you know the uh, yummy attack if they were a bit undecided of what they wanted you know it's like oh one second they want this but it's like no no maybe i'm lying to myself i actually want this and it looks like they what happens is like they just split off and become two yummies so that's a bit dangerous if somebody is very undeciding and they end up having like eight desires at once um, and I guess they have to be like really strong desires too, because everybody has like a little desires, you know, in their everyday life. Uh, but it's the strong desires that, you know, uh, fuel the yummies. So I'm guessing like whatever other desire that she has is just as strong, if not, you know, stronger, or maybe like, you know, her real ambition or whatever, than the first desire, which was to be stronger. Um, but this desire was apparently like to destroy everything. So. I don't know what's up with her. <laughs> Hopefully we get more information on her. Um, but as far as everything else with this new guy, uh, Date, aka Kamen Rider Birth, uh, I'm very Im interested to see know more about him. He's definitely holding a lot of things close to the chest. We don't know anything about him except that he used to live in Japan, but then he left and then now he came back. Um, but yeah, he seems very... Uh, I don't like he I feel like he's the type of guy that's like hey it's nothing personal I'm just doing my job uh which it can still be dangerous but at least he's not super evil or anything or he hates common writer O's for some reason uh but Unk definitely is not gonna like this guy if he's taking away his his medals um on top of that there was just little stuff like Hina uh warming up to or trying to warm up to Unk and Unk you know appreciating the gift even though he doesn't say anything um also Unk you know Putting on or edgy putting onto the spotlight the fact that Unk could uh, create yummies because he's a uh, greed just like all of them, but for some reason he can't. So probably because he's not like you know he's just an arm, so he's not as strong as the others as far as like creating yummies. Um, but yeah, on top of that, I don't think there's really anything else that I can think of. Goto is you know he's very suspicious of. Uh, Dr. Maki, I'm sure he's gonna go to the president and be like, hey, Dr. Maki's up to some stuff in the next episode. Uh, but I do like how he's like, I, I have my ambitions, but I'm not gonna let you, I'm not gonna become your puppet. You know, I like that a lot. I'm excited to see, I still think that he's gonna be a common writer. Uh, maybe he'll be the next common writer birth after, uh, this Date guy, cause... I don't know. Date doesn't seem like that kind of, he doesn't have that hero vibe, but Goto does. Um... Yeah, I thought this episode was really good. I'm excited for the next one. No, uh, no causery in this episode. None at all. Uh, especially after last episode, I'm wondering where he is now. Uh, but yeah, definitely like this episode. I'm excited for the part two. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.